In this video, I want to introduce the notion of something called a series. So a series is just the sum of the terms of a sequence. So given a sequence, so given a sequence, say we have an infinite sequence, that's mostly what we'll be, con be concerned with. We can form, so we can form the infinite sum, infinite sum, so you would just add them all up, so you do a1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus, and the sum goes on forever, which may not make sense. It doesn't really make sense uh, intuitively to add up a bunch of numbers forever, not yet. So we can rewrite this using summation notation. So sigma, it's a Greek letter. And we can use various letters here for our index of summation. You can use i, j, or k. Those are the common ones. I'll use i. So i runs from 1 to infinity of a sub i. So this is an infinite sum. And this is also called a series. And since it's an infinite series, we can actually call it an infinite series. So an infinite sum is the same thing as an infinite series. So when someone says series, they just mean they have some sequence and they're adding up the terms. There's another uh, notion involved with series. It's called the nth partial sum. So the nth partial sum is s sub n, and it's basically the sum of the first n terms. So it'll be a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub n. So that's called the nth partial sum. So it's just the sum of the first n terms. We're mostly going to be concerned with one question. Does this expression make sense? In other words, is this equal to a number? Whenever this is equal to a number, we're going to say the series converges. And when it's not equal to a number, in other words, it's infinity or negative infinity or maybe like something that just doesn't make sense, we'll say it diverges. So if this expression is equal to a number, we'll say the series converges. If it's not, we'll say it diverges. In the video that follows, uh, I will go through and explain exactly what it means for a series to converge and we'll do a simple example. I just wanted to make this shorter video just to explain what a series is. So a series is just the sum of the terms of a sequence. So as a really, really simple practical example before I end this video, say we had the sequence 1 3rd, 1 3rd squared, 1 3rd cubed, etc. This is a sequence, so the corresponding series would be the infinite sum as i runs from 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the i. And this is actually a, a series that you could work out. You could actually figure out the answer to this. This is called a geometric series. So this one actually does make sense. This one actually does converge, as we will see later. Until next time, take care.